And now, it's time for I Hear You, the part of our show where Jack Worthing, that's me, answers your letters and questions about our life in Wellington Wells. And today's first letter is from Charles Hawtrey of St. James Parade. Dear Uncle Jack, I always get eliminated early in Simon Says. It's so frustrating because I love Simon Says and I don't get to play very much of it before I get confused and I'm out. What can I do? <laughs> well, Charles, I'm so glad you care about Simon Says. It's one of my favourite games, as you probably know. In fact, sometimes I wish someone would come and be the announcer so I could come to Hamlet and play Simon Says. See, what a lovely idea. Why don't you come here and I'll go there? Ah, yes, but that doesn't solve your problem, does it? How can you enjoy Simon Says better? Well, I can't promise you a way to be less confused. After all, a bit of confusion is normal when you're taking your joy and you don't want to cut down on your joy, do you? No, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. But look, just because you're out doesn't mean you can't keep playing. Just go to the sidelines and keep playing. After all... No one's going to arrest you for continuing to wave your arms around when I say wave your arms around, eh? <laughs> I mean, when I say Simon says move your arms around, right? Good. Well, I hope that's helpful, Charles. And thank you very much for writing. Here's another letter from Mrs. Gillian Overshaw of St. Giles Crescent. Mrs. Overshaw writes, Dear Uncle Jack, I found the most peculiar thing in my garden. Perhaps you can help me identify it. It has the general shape of a garden gnome. That is, it is short and squat and has a rounded pointy top, just like a gnome's pointy hat, but it's smooth and metal and nothing is painted on it. What is it? Should I make it into a lamp? If I get the hat off, it would make a perfect umbrella stand. I think I can get the hat off if I heat up the bottom part in the fireplace. What do you think? Oh, well, Mrs. Overshaw... <laughs> I think what you might have here is an unexploded artillery shell. So, no, my dear, I would not particularly recommend heating it up in the fireplace. In fact, I would recommend not touching your garden gnome any further. Especially, do not drop it or drop anything on it. Now, if any of the heroes of the home army are listening to this broadcast, and uh, I know some of you are, would you mind dropping by Mrs. Gillian Overshaw's place at 25 St. Charles Crescent and help her in disposing of this rather peculiar garden gnome? Thank you. There's a good chap. Well, this one is from and Mrs. Susan Brimble of Northumberland Passage. Dear Mr. Worthing. Oh, Susan. <laughs> There's no need to be so formal. You can call me Jack or Uncle Jack. But don't call me Mr. Worthing, because that's my father. <laughs> and definitely don't call me Mrs. Worthing. <laughs> Anyway, dear Mr. Worthing, my husband stays a really long time in the bath. He comes home after work and immediately runs a bath, and he stays in it until it's time for dinner. Sometimes he even stays in there after I tell him it's time for dinner. Last night, I even brought him his dinner in the bath, and he left it there on the side of the sink. What's a wife to do? Well, Susan, or Sue. May I call you Sue? I'd like to think I can call you Sue. Susan, I'm not a doctor. I only play one on TV. <laughs> but I do know some doctors, and I ask them about your husband. They think your husband might just need a little more joy in his life. He seems to be trying to soak it in through his skin, and, well, that takes a very long time, and it'll turn him into a prune. <laughs> so please be sure that your husband pops a joy or two when he wakes up, and a joy or two before he goes to bed, and I think you'll be seeing a lot more of him in a considerably drier state. There are very few problems that joy won't make better. All right, Susie? Good. Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in again tomorrow for more cheery answers to your questions about your life in Wellington Wells. This is Jack Worthing saying cheerio and on with your day. I'll see you soon.